good morning students welcome back to the class and good evening to all those who are watching me in the evening and good afternoon to all those who are watching me in the afternoon uh, once again i'm back with another grammar lesson okay class uh, now today what we are going to do the name of the chapter is articles all right the name of the chapter is articles i'll just show you once again our book is tune into grammar all right and the name of the chapter is articles okay now i'll just give you a few sentences on the board okay i'll just uh, give you a few sentences on the board and ask you to just go through okay the date today is 25th of august and it's a tuesday all right and the name of the chapter is articles okay chapter number 10 all right this is chapter number 10 articles fine i hope you can see the board now let me erase the board before i begin with my example there is dash boy standing outside our main gate okay there is a boy standing outside our main gate okay so what comes in what comes in i'll use colored pens okay children i'll use color ah uh, okay ah uh, comes in this is one example okay example number 1 so number 1 now number 2 i it dash orange after lunch so what is it i ate dash orange after lunch so i ate an orange after lunch okay so a uh, and they are articles okay children a uh, and these are all articles okay they are used a uh, is used in front of a singular noun can you see boy boy out here yes it is a singular noun and an is used in front of an a vowel sound word okay an is used in front of a vowel sound word so orange not only sounds like that of a vowel but also it begins with o so a words beginning with a e i o u as well as having a vowel sound will have an in front of it now there are certain rules to that as well okay there are certain rules to that what are the rules let me begin okay so a uh, and they are all indefinite articles okay what is indefinite articles indefinite articles are those which are not written okay which do not come before any particular word okay particular thing fine now what are the rules okay for the article a now what are the rules for the for using the article a 
it is beginning with now suppose I write I eat a burger for dinner I eat a burger for dinner now can you see a out here now this is coming in front of a consonant can you see the article a is coming in front of a consonant okay that means other than a e i o u it begins or it comes before a consonant sound okay consonant sounding word as well as a consonant fine for example a girl a pen okay a butterfly and have you noticed something children these are all singular okay these are all singular you cannot say a butterflies you cannot say a pens you cannot say a pencils okay these are all coming in front of singular nouns now what about and let me erase the board last time i think my board was shining a lot okay so you were not able to see it also properly so please excuse me for that today i have tried to arrange you know because the, as i said there's a window right across this wall and this is the only wall where i can uh, you know facilitate in hanging the board fine so i hope you are able to see the board today now before i continue with the later part of the chapter also children i suppose you all have already seen the uh, half yearly assessment syllabus have you seen so most of the chapters have been covered right only few are left to so start revising those chapters start writing out after uh, revising the chapters start practicing grammar okay start practicing uh, literature literature read the book because you might have one or two chapters from the chap uh, one or two questions from the chapter itself all right so start revising start uh, practicing grammar because grammar is just like maths you cannot mug up you cannot learn you will have to understand the concept so all those who have the previous videos saved also please go through that okay go through all the chapters what are mentioned in the syllabus so that you have a fair idea of the topic of all the topics what are coming for your half yearly examination yes and these few weeks are very very important children please do not miss the class even if you miss the class at least uh, due to network connectivity or network issue please go through the audiovisual clips okay please go through the audiovisual clips because uh, they are all new chapters they are all been explained by me homeworks have been given with the answer keys provided so that you have ample of time to revise the chapter and practice properly so all those who have not been able to score properly as in the previous uh, audiovisual clip also i had mentioned that do not worry you are getting another chance to improve your grades yes you must work very hard the situation is only different now isn't it had it been in the school and the school would have been open the situation would have been totally normal isn't it but we are totally in totally not a normal situation we are totally in a different situation so the only thing you can do is you can go through the audiovisual clippings what is being uploaded by us by the teachers go through that revise okay whenever you have the audio clipping uh, whenever you are watching the audio clipping what you can do is you can keep the book with you so that you can relate to the uh, topic page wise and 
you can understand it well secondly children uh, as i said the previous homework was writing a letter isn't it writing out a letter so many of you have emailed me but still i have not got the emails of all the 26 participants who were there that day present that is on wednesday all those who were present in my class i am still awaiting your letter writing homework because as i said notebook assessment how will it be given the evaluation done it will be done through the homeworks you are sending me so your homeworks are very very important children you must email me the homeworks okay the homework has to reach me please note that the homework has to reach me so one homework was the paragraph the other homework was the letter writing so two homework has to reach me please note that two homework has to reach me otherwise i will not be able to give you any mark you will end up just obtaining a zero all right so please pay attention and send me the homework now i will continue with and we are doing the chapter articles okay we are doing uh, a new chapter articles i had explained what are articles articles are those which comes in front of a singular noun okay fine like a and and of course the will be there now a and an are defin are indefinite articles okay they are indefinite articles now i have told you the rules about a okay it comes in front of a singular noun yes right and it comes in front of a consonant or a word which sounds like a consonant okay so now there are certain rules related to an as well so i'll just tell you okay okay now dash 1 rupee coin dash university okay dash 1 rupee coin dash university i just use a different pen dash one rupee coin dash university okay ah uh, okay please note it is a uh, in both but you see you my question but ma'am it has a vowel in front but what is it sounding is it sounding like a uh, or o no it is sounding like w one one okay so a uh, a uh, will come in front of those words although they are vowels but sounds like that of a consonant all the letters of a to z which do not have a e i o u included in it okay that those are called consonants okay so an is going to come only in front of those vowel sounding words as well as vowel words like an orange okay an orange an ice cream an umbrella okay these are all not only beginning with a vowel but also sounding like that of a vowel so these are the rules children you must remember these are the rules you must remember okay so a uh, and an whereas again i'll just uh, show you one more we say he is an honest man he is an honest man honest am i am i saying honest no so it begins with h isn't it honest spelling begins with h but we are writing an in front of it because of the sound because of the sound if you listen to it honest okay not honest isn't it so an is going to come so there are certain rules related to uh, an as well 
what are they even if a word begins with a vowel but sounds like a consonant it will have a in front not an those words which sound like a consonant and begin with a vowel will have an in front of them those words which sound like a vowel but begin with a consonant will have an in front of them so i hope you will remember the rules i hope you will go through the chapter also to see the rules now let us come let us begin with the okay now dash prime minister of india was feeding dash peacocks okay dash peacocks have you seen the video he had served them food not only from his palm he had also given them food in a plate and the the peacock was coming and pecking and eating that yes i am sure you must have seen that video so what is going to come here children what is going to come here the okay and also the here why the is a definite article it is pointing about a particular person have you seen particular person our prime minister one and only similarly the peacocks that means that particular time those particular peacocks only so the is a is a definite article a and an are indefinite article please remember the is a definite article so we use the not only to uh, refer particular place we also refer when we are stating about the month about the year about uh, the week okay about a particular person we use nouns okay whenever we are talking about a particular thing okay the cake was delicious so i am talking about that particular cake not about all the cake so the is used all right this is an easy chapter and it is a continuation of what we had done in the previous classes children so please go through the video properly now i will brief you up about the homework okay as usual for your homework children you will have answer keys provided by me you can go through that and do the homework or else you can do the homework on your own so page number 57 is the chapter all right page number 57 is the chapter now page number 58 as well is the chapter page number 59 is also the chapter here they are talking about the rules of a and an and here they are talking about the definite article the all right now you are beginning with your homework from page number 60 learn so the first exercise you need to do it in the book please note then practice also everything is given in the book so you need not copy it in your notebook and do it all right so you will do it in the book number b as well blanks are provided you will do it in the book all right number c you will have to rewrite the sentences after correcting okay with a proper article so this has to be done in the notebook again i will repeat practice c exercise needs to be done in the notebook and practice d exercise also children needs to be done in the notebook so we know what are the homework and don't be in a hurry to finish off yes you are getting one week time to complete the homework it doesn't mean that you do a, you start off today itself and your hand starts aching no you will get one week time to do this homework that means before my next uh, audio video clipping you are going to finish off with this homework you are going to complete this homework and uh, another thing children again i will repeat all those who have not email me their paragraph as well as letter writing homework baka please email me the email address is dpsfb.four okay at the rate gmail.com 
all right and please go through the syllabus which has been already uploaded it will be available in the students online portal in the dashboard okay you can go through that and sit with your book and revise go through the audio video clippings of ma'am yes and also the pdfs with the contents all those without books can also refer the pdfs with the contents we have facilitated you with those kind of content right so may i sign off for now yes bye bye take care stay safe children stay safe and do well okay